Here's 3.7.12. This is given this log function that has a quadratic on the inside, and x is less than negative 1. Find and state the domain and range of f inverse. So let's first find f inverse. Switch x and y. And then take e to the both sides. So then we're left with e to the x equals y squared minus 4y minus 6. Now I need, to so I need to solve for y, so that in order to do that I need to get basically one y. So I'm going to complete the square. So e to the x, y squared minus 4y. Make some room, and then subtract 6. So to complete the square I take half of negative 4, which is negative 2, and I square it, so that's plus 4. Now I need to, I just shifted the whole function up 4, so I need to subtract 4 to keep it, to keep it the same. So that means e to the x is y minus 2 squared minus 10. And now I can start solving for y. So I have e to the x plus 10 equals y minus 2 squared. So then 2 plus or minus the square root of e to the x plus 10 is equal to y. So here's our inverse. Well, both inverses. Um, we need to talk about which one to take because this is x is less than negative 1, which means the function's probably going that way, which means I need the uh, inverse of that, which will be the negative 1. So I need to get rid of that plus sign and keep just the negative 1. All right, so now the domain of this function, the domain is all the values I can put in for x and actually get a number for, get a real value for. And e to the x is always positive. e to the x plus 10 is definitely always positive. And the square root of that is also always positive. So there's, I don't think there's any, any restraints on the domain. So the domain is all real numbers. The range, which is a little bit harder to find, the range of this um, is a little difficult, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the domain of the original function, and that will be the range of the inverse. So to do that, to find the domain, I need to take this piece on the inside of the ln, and I'm going to set it greater than 0. So y squared minus 4y minus 6 is greater than 0. So we've already completed the square. It's y minus 2 squared minus 10 is greater than 0. Actually, since we're doing the domain of the original, let's keep it all in x's. So x squared minus 4x and x minus 2 squared minus 10 is greater than 0. OK, so if we solve this, we get um, x minus 2 squared is greater than 10. And then we'll have a number line. And we'll have, right here, we'll have minus square root of 10 plus 2. And we'll also have the positive square root of 10 plus 2. So that's just when we're solving for x here. So remember, the question is, when is it greater than? Well, we have a quadratic. Its leading term is positive. So the quadratic is here. So the domain greater than 0 is this piece here and this piece over here. So if I said x is greater than negative 1, I would take this piece. And since I said x is less than negative 1, um, I'm taking this piece. So we have our, dom our range is x is less than negative root 10 plus 2.